Okay, so Joe Ray, thanks for taking the time to talk to us. Joe, I suppose you've, you know, your name has been getting thrown around boxing circles the last couple of days regarding the possibility of fighting in a prize fighter in Belfast in April. Yeah, um, as far as I know, I'm on it for sure. Like uh, Eddie Hearn uh, wrote on Twitter that uh, I'm on it for sure. So hopefully, six by his word, I'm on it. I'm on it, and uh, it's a great opportunity. Look. It's your obviously you've you've fought in prize fight before, so you, you've kind of you, you know what it's about. So I'd imagine you'd fancy your with the proper preparation, you'd fancy your chances. Yeah, well, I've uh, fought on it before in two thousand eight against uh, Martin Murray. Uh, I lost in the quarterfinals, which most people said was the final. Really, you know, me and him were the two best fighters in it, and uh, so now I have ten weeks' notice for this one, and uh, I plan to be in the best shape of my career. Though. I suppose before you know, two thousand and eight, you boxing prize for it. Before that, you, you were unbeaten. Um, you went to prize for it. You got beaten, and since then, it's been you know, it's kind of been downhill for you in, in many ways, hasn't it? Yeah, been well, a... uh, first of all, I turned pro over in America, and uh, we make a word, and uh, I come back here six and zero, and uh, then I fought in the prize fight, I lost to Martin Murray, and uh, basically since then, I've struggled to get fights. Uh, a lot, no British fighter, no Irish fighter would really take me as the opponent, you know. So I've had to travel around Europe, uh, fighting a lot of top top European fighters, you know. So uh, this is my chance to turn my career around and plan and do yeah. it. I think you showed obviously in, in your last fight, uh, you boxed Levan, um, Gary Hoyt's Georgian prospect, yeah. um, you got injured in the fourth round, but before that, you fought Eamon O'Kane and, and you proved in that fight, you know, that, that you know that you can mix it, you know, yeah. if you, the fitness is there, and you know, yeah. so it, it regards to your own kind of confidence, do you believe in the proper preparation? Yeah, well, 100%. Like, uh, I fought Eamon, it was one of my best performances. Like, Eamon did deserve to win the fight, uh, but I can get in better shape than that and uh, improve on that on that fight, you know. But this prize fighter, this. You know, in many ways, this is it's a big opportunity for you. Maybe, you know, maybe yeah. your last at 28 now yeah. could be the last one for you. Yeah, 100%. It's definitely uh, it's a lifeline for me in boxing, you know, and uh, I've had a look at all the names that have been thrown about that who's looking to get into it, and uh, I think I have a great chance of getting in it. Hopefully I get a good draw, and, uh, you know, I definitely think I can win it, you know. One of the names, um, and it's looking like it will be in it, and which is of interest to yourself, is, is Anthony Fitzgerald. I will have heard the eyes in it and uh, hopefully it is and uh, hopefully I get him in the first round and beat him up with what everyone in Ireland wants done so hopefully I'll be the man to do it. You've always fancied a uh, shot I mean I, I spoke to you two years ago um, in, in Belfast and you spoke to me about wanting to fight Anthony. It's, you've always fancied... Yeah well definitely, definitely 100%. You know he's on there talking about world titles and European titles and this and that. You look down his record, who's he fought? fought? He uh, lost to Robbie Long, no disrespect to Robbie Long but... You know, they've had three fights, he's won two and look, Robbie Long won one. Apart from that, who has he ever fought? And he's talking about world title fights. And I wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't enter this at all because he's no balls like everybody knows. And uh, it's just full of shit, really. It was, so definitely that'd be, that'd be one you'd yeah, be looking forward to. I hope I get in the quarterfinals and, and then it'll be easy on for now, you know. Nice wee warm up. <laughs> so basically, I suppose, the other, you know, in terms of, you know, your training, you're looking at maybe changing James and, you know, a fresh kind of... Yeah, well, uh, me and my uh, new manager are having a, we're having a few talks with uh, a couple of different trainers up in Belfast and uh, definitely just think it's came to the stage where I, ha I, need a, I need a new lease of life and going to a new gym will do that, you know, uh, so we're just waiting to find out what gym we're actually going to go to, you know. Okay, so that... Obviously, you'll probably announce that. And They'll probably be announced within the next yeah. week or so. You know, we've a fair idea who we're going to, but we just can't announce it yet. Because you probably need to start. Obviously, you know, if I probably start prefer preparing. Yeah, for well, that's the For the last few weeks, I've been I've been on the roads running and uh, just doing groundwork and things like that. There, but now it's time uh, next week to start start doing the tactical stuff on the pads and things like that. There and then spar five weeks sparring before the fight. So lots of healthy living and training and well for a change yeah <laughs> and uh, no definitely I'm going to give it 110 percent and uh, if I give it 110 percent with 10 weeks notice I, I can win it and move on to bigger things from there as I said I started off as a prospect and uh, I've had to travel around Europe and if you look at the guys who have really lost to they're basically fringe world class fighters you know you look at George A. Prosca, Dominic Brooks guys again there you know so I've definitely got a great chance of winning it. I suppose Joe as a as a confidence builder, there's probably no better um, tournament to be involved in than prize fighter because kind of you know the three rounds, you know that you can build your, your confidence up as you go through the tournament. Yeah, definitely, hundred uh, percent. As I said, when I fought in it in two thousand and eight, uh, I, I was out of the ring for eighteen months before it, 
and uh, took me a couple of rounds again to it. Martin Murray won the first two rounds, I won the third, you know. And uh, you know, so you really have to you have to get off from the first from the first round. And uh, if I win the if I win the first fight, which I plan on doing, that that'll be it. You know what I mean? I'll just break the ice and I'll be ready to go. You know, I'll just my confidence will keep going up and. That, that, that that'll win the competition for me, the quarterfinals. And is there anyone else in it? Like, hey, there's possibility Eamon O'Kane's yeah, name is being. Yeah, definitely, hundred percent. Eamon, Eamon's going to be the man to beat. And you know, with his style, he definitely, definitely suited to him. You know, hundred uh, percent. I hope I don't get in the quarterfinals. You know, uh, but uh, he's definitely going to be the man to beat. Mm. Bit, I'm sure he'll be the tournament favourite for it. You know, he's a good fighter mm. and, the, and his style is suited right down to the ground to him. You know. But you, but obviously you, you fought him, so I suppose you. Yeah, well, I mean, I know, I know what I done wrong against him. As I said, I, I stood with him, you know, which is the wrong thing to do against him or Kane because he's a str very, very strong. And actually, I, I'm a good boxer. I'm good at using my feet, and I just you know I've learnt all I've learnt from that fight. I have the DVD of that fight to to watch, you know. So uh, you know, we definitely got different tactics against him the next time. He's not unbeatable. He's a good mm -hmm. fighter, but Joe Ray at his best can definitely beat him. So we're regarding Bookie's favourite. Bookies favourites. Where where would you have yourself? Oh well, I would think I'll be up around the middle. You know, if the you know the bookies aren't stupid, even uh, when I fought Martin Murray, uh, the bookies had, had before the draw they had me second favourite, and then after Martin Murray beat me in the quarter final, I'd say that the Sky bookmaker on Sky says that uh, if I had been at the top after half of the draw, it would have been me and him and him in the final. So they'll look through my record and see who have fought. And they'll know I was in the deep end, you know. So I'm sure I'll, I'll, I'll be, you know, be a half decent price, so you know. Close joint favour with Eamon O'Kane, maybe. No, nah, well, I'd say it'll have ugly boy for Stroll there, you know, because of his record. Like, but, uh, <laughs> but sure, everybody knows he's not, he's not what his record says he is, you know. So I'm sure he'll be one of the favourites, but we all know he's not what he thinks he is. So hopefully, I get him the quarterfinals, as I said. So listen, Joe. Thanks very much for talking to us, and please God, you know, prize for it to go well for you. Yeah, definitely, hundred percent. Cheers, man. Thanks, Bobby.